Welcome back to People. I'm Shirley Lin. My guest today is Jiang Jingpo, or Paul, and、uh, he's the conductor and founder of Momo Music Group, a symphony orchestra.、Mm-hmm. Well, first of all, before we go on further talking about the symphony orchestra,、mm-hmm. I'm curious to know if you ever got interested in pop music.、Um, on and off. On and off. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, I shouldn't say on and off.、Um, it's more like. I don't、uh, put my energy into、um, researching it. Okay. But if、um, if a certain good pop song、uh, just come across into my life and、um, you, I love it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you'll set it as the ringer <clears throat> of your mobile phone. <laughs> Maybe.、Yeah. Okay. Like whiter shade, whiter shade, then pale. Whiter pale. What what is it called?、Um, Procol Procolum. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Okay. It's sixties song. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay. No. So, all right.、No. How did you start Momo Music Crew? Oh,、um, yeah. All right. Let, let let's、uh, put it this way.、Mm. Um, most of my colleagues,、um, by which I mean people who, who study conducting. Oh, well, okay. Young people who start、uh, study conducting、uh, would follow the the protocol、uh-huh. of climbing the ladder, you know, by、um, trying to、um, become the music director of、um, maybe an existing yeah, orchestra, yeah,、mm-hmm. uh, a smaller one, okay, a more local one,、mm-hmm. um, in the states, for example. And、um, if they do well, they'll have the chance to, you know, climb up the ladder. Okay. Yeah, moving up. Right.、Um, that goes for you. Actually, well, I had that choice, of course.、Mm-hmm. I had that option. Okay. You know?、um, but I decided to come back to Taiwan、uh-huh. and、um, start my own orchestra. Right.、Um, that's the hard way to do it. Yeah. 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 How did you get around to looking <laughs> for all these people to form your own orchestra? Yeah. In the beginning, the talent or the people, the players, was not the problem because、oh. um, um, you know I have many good colleagues,、uh, uh. good schoolmates who are you know good musicians. You know? Okay. People around my, my、um, about my age,、mm. um, and who also had、um, ideals.、Mm-hmm. You know? um, so. Um, the first step, of course, was to、uh, find and collect these people. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I had my founding、uh, members、uh, ready, and I started to look for sponsorship,、um, and also、um, a venue, a place to、yeah. rehearse. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. And、um, once all these、uh, elements、uh, were in place, we just went. Yeah. Yeah, and the the reason I decided to do it,、um, well, decided、uh, decided to start my own orchestra instead of,、um, you know, climbing the ladder was because、um, I had a very I had a very strong call of、um, doing things the way I wanted. Yeah, <laughs> sure.、Know? I think that、yeah. pretty much goes for all of us. Yeah, and、um, I also saw myself、um, perhaps more. Um, not qualified or equipped, it, but but more suitable in you know in various senses、mm-hmm. uh, to be able to do this in mm-hmm. Taiwan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's basically how I started、okay. it. Well, the reason I started it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how many years has it been now? Twelve. Twelve years.、Mm-hmm. Wow. Now, looking at Taiwan. Yeah. And I think、um, it's it's been how do I put it sort of the trend、uh-huh. where Taiwanese parents、um, uh-huh. tend to you know force their children to learn some kind of not I mean mostly and we're talking about mostly classical musical instruments、mm-hmm. whether it's the violin、mm-hmm. or the piano and you know my family was exactly like that、mm-hmm. I I learned the pianos at the、mm-hmm. age of, starting at the age of six or seven. Mm-hmm. And my younger brother、mm-hmm. played the violin, and we actually did、um, 
perform and kind mm -hmm. of like in contests. Mm -hmm. And came in third place. <laughs> I accompanied Bravo. my brother yes. on the violin, and yeah, so. I mean, but it's nerve-wracking. It's always yeah. nerve-wracking. Yes. And I remember when I was learning the piano, mm -hmm. we would always have the recital mm -hmm. once every year. Mm -hmm. And you never get used to it. Mm -hmm. Every year the time comes around, mm -hmm. you're just so nervous. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, as they're calling your number, the closer it gets, your heart's a thumping. You yeah, know? your stomach. <laughs> oh, I hated that. Uh -huh. But um, you just never get used to it. Mm -hmm. um, what... What do you understand about parents' mentality behind all this? Mm. You know? Well, actually, I think it's not just Taiwan, but also, um, you know, in Asia, Japan is like this. That is true. Korea is like this. <laughs> okay. Um, there just se seems to be for, for the parents of um, these cultures um, to have um, very high and comprehensive um, expectations of their children. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um, these parents want, want their children to be um, multi-talented. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and very accomplished in, in many, you know, uh, many things. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I think that's why in, in the States, uh, um, many Asian kids are called over-accomplishers. Huh? Oh, I, I, I can see why. Yeah. You know, I think that... Um, American parents are more, <clears throat> excuse me, yep. into sports, mm -hmm. the active type yep. of expectation on their children, mm -hmm. as compared to, to Asian parents. Mm -hmm. They want their kids to be jing uh -huh. you know, the, the quiet, artistic, uh -huh. Uh -huh. the intellectual, intellectual type. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't you see true. that? Yeah, I see that. Yeah, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. And I think um, in Europe, it's um, yet. Uh, Different because it seems like in Europe um, there are more parents who are, um, are really uh, liberal and uh, just try to uh, develop uh, whatever their uh, whatever whatever talent or interest mm -hmm. their children exhibits. Mm -hmm. yeah.